Panthers. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be practicing our forms, but we're going to be creating some science experiment beakers today. And here's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need something to draw with. Try a Sharpie. I, would, I made the mistake, if you guys saw, with drawing with a flare pen, and the flare pen and water that we're going to be using later, they don't go together. It makes the flare pen kind of turn black and turn your colors kind of dirty. So use a Sharpie or a pencil and then you can draw over it with something black. We're going to need a cup of water and a paintbrush and some markers. If you don't have a paintbrush at home, that's okay. You guys can color this with whatever materials you happen to have at home. Okay, so we are going to go sideways with our sketchbooks and as you guys can see in mine, we're going to be doing three forms. Let me turn my camera around so I can talk to you guys a little easier. And you guys are also going to be seeing the difference between a form and a shape. All right. So remember, a form is something that has 3D um, elements, meaning it has depth, it has height, it has width. So a shape would be flat. So for example, my piece of paper here is flat. It's a rectangle. It doesn't have that depth to it. All right. Versus some of these forms that have height, width, and depth. All right. Remember, shapes are flat. Forms are fat. <laughs> okay. Let me turn my camera around and we're going to try to draw this science experiment here. Okay, so we're going to be doing three of these. Now, three of our beakers here are going to start out with something simple, two dots. So I'm going to start in the middle here, and I'm going to do a cylinder. All right, so I'm going to make my cylinder start with two dots at the top. One, two. That determines the width. Make sure we can see this properly. Okay, change the light. Okay, so next, because you guys can see, we can't just go straight across, we have to round it. If you take a look, we're gonna round the edge. So dip it towards you and away. Wonderful, so next we're gonna turn, determine the height. So straight line down, and we can't go straight across the bottom. That would flatten everything. So we are going to, just like the top, round it. Now, since these are going to be glass beakers, we have to make sure we see the back end. So we're going to also do this part, too. All right, so typically in science and measuring, we're going to have almost like a ruler this little pattern on the side, and if you want to, you can number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We started with one at the bottom. Now we also need to put our liquid inside. So our liquid, we can draw right through it, and you can determine where you want it to be. We're going to do right through our letter, or right through our numbers on one side, and again on the other side. Beautiful. Okay, over here we're going to try another one. I'm going to determine maybe this one's going to be a little skinnier. And again, loop it towards you, loop it away from you. Then we're going to go tall, long, and then I'm going to do some diagonal lines. And then just like at the top, I'm going to round the bottom. And then towards the back too. Maybe for this one, I'm only going to do some measuring lines up on the long skinny neck part. And I won't bother numbering one. I'm going to do my liquid. It's going to be all the way up here. Very nice. And then maybe for one over here, I'm going to do medium with loop it towards me, away, tall neck. And maybe instead of a diagonal line, I'm going to do a curved line. Oh, and I ran out of space, but that's okay. I could bring it around again. And then a round bottom. And once again, a round bottom here. And 
some measuring lines. Okay, beautiful. So next we're gonna add color to this. I would love it if you guys can grab whatever col colored markers you have. Oh, I forgot to put liquid in this one. Let's do it down here. Okay, awesome. So for this, I like the idea of just using color combinations where I'm gonna do dots of one color. Remember, you're gonna limit your coloring to just the section that has the liquid. We want it to look like a science experiment. So I'm gonna do some dots, maybe outline some stuff. A little pattern, you really wanna fill it in. And then this is where I can take my paintbrush and just kinda of dab the colors and get them to mix. If you have watercolor at home, you guys can use that too. That would be really beautiful, just mixing interesting color combinations oh that looks so cool wonderful so you guys you can of course change your colors maybe over here i'm going to do some pink and purple do some swirls in there maybe this looks more like a cloud of something interesting Oh, so nice. And then, yeah, just go in with your water. See if you can get it to blend and mix. Try to stay within the lines. Of course, I'm always going so fast, you guys. You take your time. Here's the other thing. If you want to have bubbles or smoke coming out the top, oh, my gosh, that would be so cool. Again, be creative. You guys do what makes you happy. Create something interesting and awesome. I'm going to do this last one here. Maybe I'll, oh, we need a purple. I'd like a purple. That one turned out very good. Do this and this. This will be a nice combo. And again, you guys, you do not have to do the same as me. I love it when you go ahead and do your, if you want to even draw um, other cartoons or just like, I don't know, sprinkles and sparkles and whatever else inside, you guys, please change it up. But right now, I wanted you guys just to practice your forms and drawing them and I think this is such a cool project to apply our new knowledge on drawing 3d forms remember guys shapes are flat forms are fat if that helps you remember the difference between the two so right now we are drawing kind of an optical illusion optical illusion means Optical means eye, illusion means like fake or tricking the eye. So we're tricking the eye into thinking we have forms on our paper. All right, kiddos, I look forward to seeing what you guys end up doing. Share with me on Seesaw when you're done.